Hey everyone, this is that Pimo JW. I know it's been a while. Um, I took a little break because, you know, sometimes talking about the wrongdoings of the organization all the time can take its toll on your mental health. Well, at least my mental health anyway. Um, over the last few months, my mind has just been so far removed from the organization <laughs> for real like i'm inactive and i haven't really been to the meetings or field service regularly for like about seven years now but being that i'm a pmo physically in mentally out i may pop up at a memorial or assembly hall every now and then but that's only because uh an invitation or from a family member that's it <laughs> but like I said like I'm so far removed I, I could barely remember all the governing bodies names anymore like that's how far removed I am so in particular I wanted to talk about the whole resurrection hope um with the organization it just it irks me to no end when the organization um lies to everyone especially the children and this is ex one of the main reasons why, other than other than the shunning, other than all of the the horrible shit they do behind closed doors, okay. But this is why I stopped going, and this is why I stopped taking my child to the Kingdom Hall because I just I don't want her learning this shit. I really don't. So um, hopefully I'm not gonna give myself away here, but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it my my daughter is special needs autism okay and she doesn't quite 100 percent grasp the idea of uh i don't know if i can say the word passing away let's just say passing away um you know because i i i don't teach her the whole resurrection thing at home so um but even even if you don't have a special need kid, like regular kids, they lie to them and they may even believe it even more. Like I know when I was, let me see, I was five years old when uh, my mother started studying and I studied the Live Forever book and the Resurrection uh, book. Yeah, <laughs> da, da, da. you know, and they taught that oh yeah you're gonna see your you know uncle bob again yeah you know he's passed away but soon he's going to be resurrected and you'll get to see him again and all of this bullshit here and you know when you're a kid you're you're gonna believe your parents you're gonna believe the organization because you think that they have your best interests at heart why would they lie to you? Why would why would the organization lie to me? Why would my parents lie to me about something like that, you know? And like I said, they don't know that they're lying to you either. They're being lied to. So it's 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 a constant battle of when you're a PMO because, you know, you deal with JW family members. So it's a constant battle of programming and deep programming and programming and deep programming. It's just so freaking frustrating. And, you know, it just, it's irritating and it it's confusing. It can confuse a kid. So, uh, hopefully I won't get too emotional talking about this, but, um, her older brother, uh, which is my, my son, uh, passed away a few years ago. And every now and then she will, okay. um, ask about him and, um, you know, I, I tell her the truth, you know, um, honey, he's, he's passed on, um, he's transitioned, you know, he's, he won't be coming back on it, you know, and the, the shit that irritates me is, um, you know, when she visits her, her JW family and, you know, she'll ask them that same question, right? And, you know, they'll be like, Oh, oh, he's 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 in a deep sleep. Um, he'll be back really soon, you know. Um, he's just in a deep sleep. You'll see him again. 
and this shit pisses me off so bad because I know that that's not the case. You know, you just confusing her. Um. Now you know how impatient kids can be, right? So when you tell a person, when you tell a kid, "Oh, really soon, really soon, honey, really soon," you think they think in years from now? You think they think in months from now? No, they're thinking what tomorrow? Five minutes from now? You said right around the corner, right? When you think right around the corner, what do you think you think? You know, the navigation system or, or, or you know, tracker or something like that. Oh, right around the corner, that means they'll be in a few minutes. You know what I'm saying? But this is what we teach the kids, and, and so they're impatiently waiting for their uh, resurrected loved ones to come back. I'm still waiting on my cousin to come back then. If that's the case, that was 30 plus years ago when he passed away. You know what I mean? So it's it's just a constant struggle and I get so frustrated and it's constant deprogramming. But no matter what, I'm always going to tell her the truth. I am not about to sugarcoat anything to her when it comes to that. I'm going to tell her the truth. And like I said, if I if I can help it, I try not to, you know, have her associate with uh jw kids jw family members if i can help it because like it's not the truth and i don't want her to think it's the truth at all and she she's naturally a free-spirited person and um you know i want to i want to keep it that way um, I just, I want her to live a normal life as normal as possible. Of course, you know, she has, uh, special needs and everything, but you know, she deals with enough being a special needs kid and to throw this shit on top of her. Like, no, I, I, I'm not gonna allow that. Um, and I don't want to clip her wings. Like I see many other JW parents do when it comes to their kids and what they want to do, their dreams and aspirations and everything, you know. But at the same time, like I said, I'm going to keep it real with her when it comes to passing away and things like that. I'm not going to tell her that her older brother is in a deep sleep. That is not true. <laughs> you know, like that, that, and I, and I know that the, the, the JW's a lot of them don't really know that they're being lied to, so that's why I'm I'm not gonna be try to be too pissed off, cause at one point I didn't know either. I'm thinking I'm telling folks the truth. Oh, you're gonna see your your aunt Sally again. You're gonna see her again, just a little while longer. And now that I know the truth about that, it just pisses me off so bad. Oh my goodness, just. There's so much deprogramming that we have to do. <laughs> I feel like it's never going to end, but, you know, that's why we have these channels. Uh, I appreciate all of the uh, XJW community for, for fighting. Just fighting for our mental freedom. Because that's more important than anything is your freedom. Your health and your freedom. Pretty much, yeah. Mental health, physical health, and freedom. But anyway, uh, that is my rant. Living the Pimo life. <laughs> Comment down below if you're dealing with something similar. Uh, and don't forget to question everything. Don't forget to be afraid to ask questions. And don't be afraid to think outside the box. And don't be afraid to do outside research because it can save your life. And um. I love you all. I want to thank all of the new subscribe, the new subscribers, well, the new followers. I also do have a YouTube channel. Okay, so check that out. The link is in my bio. And uh, I'll see you later. You all have a good day.